After two weeks of protests, macings, pepper springs, and mass arrests in New York City's financial district, the motley group on the streets is getting heard in the media. The business media are painting the protesters as supporting big government, pro-government, big government crackdowns on bankers and corporate chieftains and attacks on corporatism. Liberal groups and unions are said to be trying to co-opt the protesters for their own aims, such as the re-election of President Obama. But what do they really want? Are many of these protesters actually against big government? And can anything or anyone quell this chaos? Here to discuss is conservative columnist and Freedom Watch regular Jack Hunter and Wall Street protester Danny Penzella. Danny, to you first. What are the protests about? What do you and, other the, and the other protesters want? Well, I think that for the most part, uh, the protesters are looking for freedom and equality. And uh, they have a little bit of a different view on how to get there than the Tea Party does. But I think some of the, some of the if you cut through the rhetoric, some of the goals are, are really the same. Uh, Jack, I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Some of these protesters are progressives that want more big government. Some of these protesters are libertarians that want more freedom. Some of them don't want capitalism. Some of them do want capitalism. How do you size this uh, Well, I, that's the problem. I've been trying to size it up. I've seen some people who have problems with the Federal Reserve. Well, as a conservative, I could certainly appreciate that. Libertarians appreciate that. I see people who think Barack Obama's wonderful and people who think we need more government, that we need free health care and free education. So no, I'm not okay with that. My question is, what is the message? I don't hear a clear message. I think there's some good intentions there, but I'm not sure what's going on. The, the protests which have spread today to Boston and Los Angeles that for two weeks have centered on Wall Street, the, the financial capital of, of the world. Now, why Wall Street, which is the recipient of government handouts? Why not Washington, which is the giver of government handouts, Danny? Well, I think because Washington really is just the punching bag, right? If you have uh, the private Federal Reserve, which really is a noose around the neck of the government, it really controls the government. So Wall Street is that symbol of this uh, corporate elite that control the government through the Federal Reserve system. So uh, I think that's really why Wall Street is more appropriate. That, our elected officials just kind of become punching bags that are replaceable. When Barack Obama is done getting his eyes beat in, then they'll replace him with somebody else. But the Federal Reserve always remains in control. Uh, Jack, why do you think the police have gotten so aggressively in the middle of this? Is it because of the message or is it because there's so many of them down there that they're preventing foot traffic and, and vehicular traffic? I mean, we're hearing reports, we'll ask Danny about it in a minute, of police macing and pepper spraying folks who were just walking on the sidewalk. We're hearing reports of police capturing individuals in fishnets who are just standing there expressing an opinion. They're not blocking traffic and they're not disobeying orders to move. Well, there's never any, any excuse for violence by the police or anybody else, especially if the protesters are being peaceful. If that wasn't the case, maybe it'd be a different dynamic. But from everything I'm hearing, it's been peaceful protests with some questionable police action. So I agree with you. I have the same concern. What happened with this incident on the Brooklyn Bridge? Did the, did the police lure the protesters on the bridge only to arrest them? Or did the protesters genuinely prevent uh, tra vehicular and, and pedestrian traffic from using a major thoroughfare in New York City, Danny? Well, at one point, the, the police protest, uh, the police escorted the protesters th right onto the bridge. They, they had a, a line in front and a line in back. So they escorted them on. They even redirected traffic for them at one point, and then they stopped them. And there was a conflict between one uh, lieutenant and a protester, which turned into a beating and an arrest. And that really upset the crowd, who was now trapped on the bridge. And, you know, when you, when you upset a crowd like that of thousands of people, there, there's going to be problems. So I think that they use that as an excuse. And I believe an NYPD official made a statement uh, uh, to, to that effect that it was a planned... Um, a planned trap. Yeah. Okay. Do you think the protesters could agree on one thing? They don't like corporatism. They don't like tax dollars or money borrowed in the taxpayer's name going to the government's rich banker and merchant friends. I think that's exactly right, and I wish they would start to call it corporatism. You know, what Michael Morse calls capitalism is not capitalism. It's not the free market. It needs to be, this protest needs to be moved to Washington, D.C. It needs to be in front of the Federal Reserve. That's who needs to be protested. But I'm sorry, the idea that we need more government, it's not the answer. We need more freedom. Danny Penzella, Jack Hunter, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Stay out of jail, Danny. Many of the